Hello, I would like to talk about this book now. It's, I love this book, Azizi and the Little Blue Bird by Lila Kuba and Matthias de Liu. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Apologies if I've got it wrong. It's a nice big size and it is full of, I love this, look at that sun. Already you're feeling hot. It is full of the most exquisite illustrations. It's a beautiful tale. It's set in North Africa. It doesn't really specify which one, but I think it's supposed to be maybe Tunisia. It says, not that long ago, in a country that still exists today, Azizi was relaxing in an orange tree. Look at that, look at the great page. Already you've got things to talk about and explore these different, these white houses, the orange trees, you know, the, the plants, the goats, all these interesting things that are going on already. And this is when it gets really interesting. This is when a little bit of kind of politics comes into the story. He heard banging inside the house and climbed down quickly. What are you doing, Baba? He asked, hanging up portraits. His father mumbled, a nail between his teeth. Whose portraits? Azizi asked. T and Rennie's, Baba said, banging the nail into the wall. But why? <sighs> because I have to, Baba sighed. I have to. I don't like them, said Azizi. Neither do I, sweetheart, but shh, be quiet now, Baba whispered. What a great beginning. Interesting. So this is the story of how these two horrible dictators take over the land, the country where Azizi lived, and imprison all the bluebirds into a cage in the palace, take all the food, all the wealth, all the luxury, everything they need, all the, everything all the people need, they take it all for themselves, the king and the queen, the despots. And as they take and take, and take so they began so they begin to swell and grow and grow into these monstrous kind of rulers and as they grow so the people in the land start to shrink and shrink and shrink um here's azizi up in the orange tree still watching these horrible people they're really quite quite grotesque all the bluebirds there, I don't know what they're going to do with them, maybe eat them. Um, the story goes on to tell about how a Zizi and a bluebird um, came to the rescue of the, 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 the people and um, overthrew T and Rennie, the, the evil, corrupt rulers. Look at this journey on the back of a bluebird he makes across the land, a beautiful piece of writing. A Zizi and the little bluebird flew over the rocky desert and the big salt lake, over the dunes of the sandy desert, over reservoirs and oases, over a patchwork of olive trees, palm trees, lemon trees, lentils and green barley flecked with poppies like glittering red diamonds, over golden beaches, minarets and squares, over the schools and the souks of the old town, to the sandstone cliffs and tea and Rennie's palace. I won't give it away, the ending, but neither to say it's very satisfying. Um, I, it's a brilliant story. It looks gorgeous. It's fascinating it's just in terms of um, introducing children to a, a country and uh, some of the kind of the, the cultural or kind of religious buildings that they might not be familiar with. They're probably not familiar with. Um, but it's also this brilliant idea, a book about freedom. Um, when I discussed this with my year three class, that's seven, eight year olds, some of them took it very literally. They, they understood that T and Rennie were literally growing bigger and bigger and that the other people were literally shrinking. And as we discussed it more, they started to get this idea with a little bit of prompting that T and Rennie's growth was they were they were getting bigger they were taking more than their share they were taking people's freedom and 
because of that, they were seen to be bigger. They were taking people's power. And that kind of metaphorically made them huge and big and vulgar. And the people, as they had their power taken away from them, they also shrank um, in size. So it's a really interesting exploration of, of metaphor, I guess, in children's uh, literature, in children's, in children's books. If you want to go there, you can, but if you just want to enjoy it at face value, it's a beautiful, beautifully made book and a really rather exciting tale. So please do give it a go. It's not that easy to get hold of, um, I had to go online to get this um, from from Google, um, but have it, it's worth hunting down because it's brilliant. Azizi and the Little Blue Bird. Give it a go. Cheers. Bye bye.